Hello, this is the user manual for the Bathy Logger BL200. It's a 200 kilohertz echo sounder kit. Um, it's by far the most compact kit on the market. Um, it comes in this ruggedized hard case. Um, comes with everything you need to do a survey. You'll just add data collector and GPS. Um, to start out, we'll uh, take out the transducer. It has a rubber protective cap. It has a transducer mounting bracket. It's 5 8 11 standard. Fits most these standard survey pole. Comes with five one foot survey sections. Um, with this transom mount, it will basically fit on any small craft you have. Fishing boat, pleasure boat, pontoon boat. Pivots 90 degrees. You're gonna attach this to your gunnel. Um, you're gonna to add as many survey rods as you think you need. Um, the there is no offset for the GPS or the transducer. The GPS will be right in line, directly on top of it. You'll that's it. You're ready to go. We're going to talk about the BL200 components. Um, let's start with the transducer. It is stainless steel. It is 200 kilohertz. That is the U.S. Army Corps engineer spec. Um, it is um, powerful enough to go to 100 meters deep, and it is also can go as low, shallow as two feet, and still get a, uh, a depth reading. Um, it is um, has a process at internal in the head. Um, these new modern transducers now are smart. They adjust the power and gain on the fly automatically. They know how deep they are, so they can really, um, they work fantastic. So the BL200's battery is um, 8,000 milliamp lithium ion, and um, it can go over 20 hours of runtime uh, on a single charge, which is amazing. Um, has a standard 110 plug, uh, male, male end. You'll just insert it into the other charging port. Um, one thing you want to note is when it is plugged in, you want to have this on. You'll see a little red light. Um, when you're done charging, you could shut it off and then remove it, put it back in the case. Okay, in your um, BL200 user manual on the flesh included with the system, um, you'll see the Bathylogger software. Um, the Bathylogger software is you'll load on a PC and you use this to do a few things. Um, you can uh, adjust the output rate of the transducer. So from one sounding per second to 10 sounding per second. Um, standard data collectors, uh, two soundings per second is normal. Um, also, which is very important, is you can adjust the sound velocity um, from anywhere from 1350 to 1650 in increments of one. Um, that's very important, sound velocity. Um, you'll read about that in the user manual, but um, you always, every job, you always want to adjust for that. You can be in um, 35 degree water or 100 degree salt water. So you really want to uh, make sure you have that right. And with the Bathylogger software, that's how you will make those changes. It's a simple load onto any PC. Okay, refer to the um, speed of sound charts for salt water and fresh water in your flash drive. Um, this will help you adjust the correct sound velocity. You're going to get a temperature of the, in the water column, about middle of the water column, not just at the surface. And that'll help you um, get the correct sound velocity. BL200 kit system um, outputs a standard NMEA data string. It's a data format. Um, 
just about every known software takes it from Hypack, Hydromagic, Trimble, Topcon, Leica. So you'll have no problem there. Um, our system has a data connector, a USB. It's you know standard going to laptop or most data collectors now also accept USB. Um, the reason we did not go Bluetooth with this system was after many years of doing tech support um, and having surveyors come back with late latency issues and how we would usually fix that is for, to have them go hardwired. So we like this system. It's uh, nice and easy to use and works great. After you're done uh, for maintenance of the system, I would just um, hose it off with fresh water, especially if you're in saltwater environment. Um, anything that touched saltwater or, you know, if it sprayed on, definitely rinse it off. Um, let it dry and then you could put it back in this case. Um, you know, try not to get the uh, USB and battery connectors or the battery um, wet if possible.